Oasis TV, the network in service to humanity. What I find particularly powerful about sound is that it's what could be called a subtle energy, but it's a very gross subtle energy, meaning it's a very, very slow-moving subtle energy. In fact, it's so slow-moving that it manifests on the physical plane as a vibration that we can hear. But it's very, very slow-moving, and because it's slow, so slow-moving, it affects the physical body much more powerfully than, for example, um, light. Yes, you can take a coherent field of light and create a laser, um, but basically if somebody shines a flashlight on you, it's not going to be as effective, but if they make a tone at you, ah, it's going to affect your etheric fields because there are these things called harmonics. They're geometric multiples of the fundamental frequency that will go and affect the etheric fields and the chakras, and yet at the same time, the fundamental frequency will go in and affect you on a cellular DNA level. Here's a quote that I often just share with people who think that, you know, at first, well, the idea of healing with sound, how strange. Here's a quote, came from the New York Times. Sound shaped into dazzling tool can make, break, or rearrange molecular structure and levitate objects. Okay, so we're talking about an energy form here that can rearrange molecular structure. Now, if you can rearrange molecular structure, there's virtually no, <coughs> if you like, imbalance on the planet that um, can't be uh, potentially healed with sound. But of course, as we know with the healing uh, uh, factor, uh, one part of it, of course, is the, is the <coughs> medicine, whether it's sound or whatever you like, but the other part is the person's willingness to receive and the willingness to release whatever it is that is on them.